So, uh, health wise, how's the ankle? It was good. You back to 100%? Pretty close? 95. 95? Mm hmm. Um, what was that kind of like going through that and not being able to get out here and practice until you get to the camp? Um, you know, I mean, I've been in similar situations where, you know, injuries take place and, you know, you're, you're out of practice, so you're, all you're getting is mental reps. And, um, you know, I'm kind of, I'm a guy that learns from, you know, on the sideline as well as being in between the white lines. So, I mean, um, you know, this far along in my career, I'm getting the same amount of um, repetition just mentally. You said, uh, you know, they, they were kind of trying to hold you back a little bit. And maybe mm -hmm. you were a little surprised. Maybe you were ready to go. Was there any? I mean, yeah, there's did always. Did you feel like you were ready to go earlier? There's always the want to, right? And then there's the. There's there's your your mind your heart and then there's your body so um, I obviously you know wanting to come out here and compete yeah that's something that I've I want to do <laughs> you know what I mean but I mean if if physically the the guys that they have in place for the team our trainers uh, our doctors if they feel um, that being held for the greater good of myself and the team is is what's needed then. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously going to listen to that. When you, um, what can you do um, as a leader coming from a Super Bowl champion to a team that hasn't had a lot of success? How can you help in that way? I think I can just share my experiences and, um, you know, give back what I've, what I've learned and through my years in the league and, and being a Super Bowl champ. Um, all I can do is, is try to make those around me better through example and um, and just sharing those experiences, sharing those little nuances that, that made the difference in, in a season. What, one of the young guys in your room, Jannard Avery, you know, a guy that maybe you're... Uh, uh, yeah, what, what, you, what are your impressions of him? Rookie, man. Uh, <laughs> very talented. Um, reminds me of a lot of myself when I was young. Um, very strong, very fast. Um, passionate about the game, um, the one-two, and all that is there, um, you know. But he, there's a lot of things to learn as a rookie. So that's that's what I'm here for. That's what guys like Kirko and Collins and you know anyone who's played in the league more than you know four plus years is going to be there for um, to help him come along. How does he remind you of you? Just. Just that want to, you know, just that that passion, that drive, the the speed, the the pass rush ability, um, the strength. He, he's a y young body, you know what I mean. His, his body is he's he's only been in college, so there's a you know a lot of wear and tear on older guys like myself, right? But um, him, he's fresh, he's ready to go. Like um, in walkthroughs, he's going 100 miles per hour. I'm like walk through <laughs> like that type of stuff you're not an old guy no 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 i mean you feel like an older guy no i mean i mean in terms of the league in terms of um you know how we, they're getting younger and younger you know so i mean i'm on i would say you know this is going on my seventh year right so i mean i'm in my prime right now sure so was there a point where you felt like okay i get it i'm not a, i'm not a young guy anymore I, I i can do this yeah i would say my fifth year fifth year going in fourth fourth year in between the fourth and fifth year I was like just something changed you know first year second year your, your second year you're always going to be better um, um, your third year you're still even though you may feel like you're not you're looked at as still being you know you're a third year guy there's you know fourth year it's 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 time to turn that thing up a notch so yeah I would say in between fourth and fifth year, that's when, um, you know, the game really, really slows down. You feel caught up mentally with everything here? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's coming along. Like I said, I've had time to sit on the sidelines and watch the whole thing prior to me getting out there. Now that I'm out there and getting reps, it's just coming along even easier. So, yes. When you were a rookie, though, can, did you come here thinking you knew it all? Like, you know, no. Um, you didn't? No, 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 no. No, you only know what you know, right? So that's what you've learned previously. 
Um, but anytime going into a new situation, um, you're going to learn a handful of new techniques, um, philosophies, um, schematics. There's a whole lot to learn. I mean, there's guys that have been in this league for 40 plus years, and they're still learning new things. So there's always n new things to learn. Forgetting you about the, the hype of uh, Super Bowl week, mm -hmm. this going to uh, what you remember about being on the field, is that different than any uh, field experience you've ever had? You know, I, the whole experience was different. I mean, they have us, we're, we're elsewhere for a whole week. You know, they got us ripping and running back and forth, doing this, doing that, when really all you want to do is get to the ball. I mean, get to the ball game, right? You know, anything that has to do with the game is what you want to do. And there's a lot of stuff that we're doing outside of, you know, what's important, which is the, the actual football game. Um, but the on the field experience was, you know, of that like no other. I mean, it's the Super Bowl. There's extra emphasis on everything. But um, I think at the end of it, you realize it is just another game between the white lines. With, with, within all that, I guess it uh, rolls into the question of uh, what, if anything, uh, in particular, uh, have you taken from that that maybe changed you in uh, whatever way as a, as a player? Well, I would say what I've taken from the Super Bowl experience is that you don't want to buy into the hype. You know, you don't want to do that. You want to actually keep yourself from doing that. You want to you want to maintain your calm because adrenaline is at an all time. I mean, a new level, <laughs> a new, a whole new level. But um, you don't want to gas yourself out. Um, you know. When a game of that magnitude is on the line, it's all about the small things, the super intricate details um, that make all the difference in the game. So, like the larger the game, it's crazy. You would think, the you know, the larger the game, the the more focused in you have to be, you know, on the finer, minute details of the game. Have you always been a good blitzer? Yes. Where do you think that comes from? Um, I think just, you know, my natural ability to go downhill, um, my agility side to side and understanding where they want me to be, you know. Do you feel like Greg's going to have... And when I say they, I mean the opponent. Oh, okay. okay. Do you think Greg's going to have, or could that be a big part of what he has to do? Not too sure. I'm not too sure. Um... You know, I just do what's asked of me. So if that's in, if that's in, I mean, their defense blitzes a lot, you know. So whoever's out there on the field, we're getting the same same patterns. So. What did, uh, I know I was on the other side of the locker room, but uh, Carson Wentz, what did he do for the Eagles? And how soon did you know that he was going to be? Uh... Well, Carson Wentz plays quarterback for the Eagles. Right. And he did a good job quarterbacking. <laughs> But he, I mean, he had the escape ability. Um, he knew how to extend plays. He's accurate. Um, his second year, I would say that he got a lot better as a player, um, even though his first year was um, pretty good in that respect. I knew that he was going to be a special person. I'll take two more guys. How did Kirko help you when you first got here? Oh, Kirko's still helping me, man. Like, he's still helping me. Collins is still helping me. Coach is still helping me. Like I said, I've. I mean, I, ha I think I have, I mean, X amount of number of reps in this, so um, I'm still learning as I go, but the concepts are are, are grass. So. He's kind of in that like, five, six range where you, you said kind of the like, yeah. you. Can you see him? And he's been here longer than yeah. pretty much ever. Everyone. Can you see him kind of starting to become that emotional leader? Now? I, I mean, I think I think kirko has been, been um, an emotional leader in um, – He's done a, I told him the other day that he's done a good job doing that, and um, and I'm and I told him I also told him that I'm I'm glad I'm here because now I can also help take some of that load off as well, and that's what a true team is like. We we lean on each other, so. Are you 100 percent healthy? Now? 95 percent healthy. All right, thanks. That's 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 100 percent for a football player. <laughs>